So hello friends welcome back to romcart today in this video i will show you how to root and install magisk 27 on any device on any custom rom so let's get started So basically in this video i will discuss about two methods of fresh installation of magisk 27 the first one is from boot image method like patching the boot image and flashing that etc and the second method is if you have a twrp or orange fox recovery and any custom recovery like this where you get the option to take backup and flash the backups so let's talk about the first method if you have any other recovery than twrp or pbrp like if you are on pixel experience rom and you have pixel experience recovery or if you are in lineage os ROM and you have lineage OS recovery installed then the first thing you have to do is to back up the boot image so to back up the boot image you can follow this method so first of all connect the USB in the recovery and in my case it's TWRP but you can do this in any recovery like pixel experience recovery lineage recovery etc now go to PC and type patch boot image in my group and hit enter and you will get a guide like this now open the platform tools type cmd in the address bar and type adb devices if you see recovery then you are good to go if you are not seeing recovery you have to install the drivers now type adb root now you can see the adbd is already running as root so that means we are good to go now the next command is this one adb pool dev block etc etc now just enter this command right here now you can see the boot image is pulled in the platform tools folder let me show you so you can see here the boot image is just pulled now and for realme 6 it's 32 mb and if you do this on any other device then the size will differ now when you are done backing up the boot image just install the magisk 27 and before that let me just show you that i am not rooted actually so you can see i'm not rooted so in the step 2 of method 1 just install the magisk 27 app and now you will need the zip file of your current rom so currently i am on project elixir version 4.1 and i have the zip in my external storage i have a pen drive right here and you can see in this pen drive i have the project elixir 4.1 which is the current rom that i have installed in my device so in the step 3 you have to go to magisk app then allow this and you have to click on install then select and patch a file now select your internal storage and select the rom that you are currently on like as i said i am on project elixir 4.1 on my realme 6 so i have selected the rom zip and you can see it started extracting the boot image from the rom so this is a new addition in the magisk 27 which is quite useful if i show you closely you can see it's basically extracting the boot image so let's wait for that and you can see after extracting the boot image it has successfully patched the image and saved it in the download folder so let me show you the image so in the download folder you can see we have a new patched boot image of magisk 27 now what you have to do you have to just flash this boot image from fastboot so i hope there is no issue rebooting your device to fastboot no matter you are in which rom even if you are in lineage os or pixel experience rom and you have the respective recoveries you can easily reboot into recovery or directly reboot into fastboot by holding volume down and power button especially in realme 6 and in other devices the key mapping is different so the method one is done now let's move on to the method two which is by using twrp recovery so in that case just install the magisk 27 app then reboot into custom recovery in my case i have twrp but you can use orange fox and peach black recovery and there is some other recovery tools like shrp and skyhawk recovery etc where you get advanced options so you can see here the twrp 3.7 has successfully booted and i have still connected the pen drive or flash drive whatever you say so in this method after installing the magisk app and rebooting to recovery what you have to do just go to backup and select the boot image and select the external storage because in android 14 the internal storage is encrypted most of the time so just select the boot image select the external storage and if you have an sd card it's well and good just use the sd card now just swipe to take backup so you can see it has created a backup of the current boot image in non-root condition and to restore the backup if you go to restore and select the backup then it will restore the backup now after taking the backup go to install and use your external drive then select the magisk 27 apk and simply flash it and it will successfully install the magisk 27 on your device so just wait few seconds now when the installation is done just reboot into system and guys if you are using realme 6 or any realme 675 devices like me then it is not preferred to use the peach black recovery in case of flashing the magisk app because that sometimes gives boot loop 
so you can see my device has successfully booted there was no issue if you face any issue you can restore the boot image now just open the magic app and if it says requires additional setup just click on ok and it will reboot and you basically cannot skip this step because there is some essential installation steps after installing the magic but now you can eject the external drive there is no issue with that and guys please don't skip this video otherwise you may miss some steps causing problems to your installation or causing boot loops and soft breaks so you can see the device again rebooted successfully there was no issue now open the magic app again and again if it says requires additional setup you can click on install then select the direct install and click let's go and it will complete the final step of installing the magisk now click on reboot and let the device reboot now finally when the device reboots open the magisk app and that's it you have successfully installed the magisk 27 on your device and rooted with it now if you want to use any payment apps what you can do let me show that too so the first thing you have to do is to hide the magisk app for that click on hide the magic cap and give it a name now again go to settings click on judges click on enforce denial list and go to configure denial list and click show system apps right here now just hide the apps that i recommend you so you should hide the bgmi if the account is important to you then hide the chrome because some malicious apps sometimes can attack your device then the apps that you must hide is the google play services and the google play store so these two apps must be hidden and with this you have to hide all the payment apps that you want to use so i have google pay i have i will just click on the app and hide all you have to ignore this process of hiding you just have to click on the app and fully hide this app and any other app that you use so i don't have any further essential applications so i will just go to back and go back so the installation of magic 27 is finally complete if i show you with the root checker you can see the device is rooted and if i grant the access it will show the device is rooted so this is how you can do the fresh installation of magic 27 on any android and any custom rom and if you want the video on updating magic from 26 to 27 then please do let me know in the comment section i will make a separate video on that topic so this is it for this video if you found this video helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe i will see you in the next video bye bye